Ryan Garcia against Emmanuel Tego. Ryan Garcia undefeated, 21 and 0. 18 knockouts, Emmanuel Tego, 32 and 1, 15 knockouts. What do you think, Chris? Do you have a prediction? Um, yeah, I do have a prediction, man. It's going to be a very, very tough fight. Um, Ryan Garcia's opponent has only lost once, and that came way back in his debut. I think the I think the, the lights are going to be too bright. I'm going I'm going to have to say Ryan Garcia, but this time by by decision. I I will be very impressed if he gets a knockout. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a knockout, but I think his opponent is going to push him the distance. But uh, Ryan Garcia, man, by by decision. What do you got, man? What do you have? Do you think Ryan, Ryan gets a knockout? Yeah, I think he shouldn't have many problems with Tego. Tego's very uh, unproven. He hasn't really faced any top opposition. Obviously, his record looks really good. Um, 15 knockouts and 32 wins. Yeah, it's it's okay. It's all right. Um, nothing crazy, right? But I think, uh, yeah, he lost his very first fight. And after that, he's won every single one. But I'm going to be very surprised if he goes 12 with Ryan Garcia. I think if he does go to 12, I think Ryan hurts him multiple times and cruises to, to, a, to a decision. But we, we got to see. I think um, a lot of people have questions because, of course, Ryan has a new trainer, Joe Goosen. Um, he's left the Canelo team. Um, he's coming back from long layoff. He hasn't fought since, what, January of 2021 when he defeated Luke Campbell. Um, and Tego, he's 33 years old. He hasn't fought since November of 2020. So even a longer layoff. So um, we'll see. We'll see. I think Ryan can can definitely hurt him. Um, I think he's going to be motivated. Um like I said, new trainer. He's going up against a guy from Ghana. Uh, hasn't had too many fights here in the States. He shouldn't have too many issues with, with Tego, in my opinion. Um, Tego was stopped in, the, in that fight that he lost. So we'll see if Ryan can do the same. I think he will. Um, but we'll see. I, I mean, I can see him getting shocked, too, because of all the circumstances. And if that happens, I think... Um, I think a lot of the hype behind Ryan will definitely die down. I don't think he he'll be considered the star that he is considered now, even though he's still fairly young in the game. Twenty one fights. Yeah. You mentioned uh, how obviously he's no longer with the Canelo team, no longer with Canelo, with Eddie Reynoso. Do you think that affects him at all? Do you think Ryan's more of a guy that's just like, hey, you know what? Didn't work out. You know, I gotta focus on me. Do you think it affects him at all? I think it affects him long term. I think short term, like I said, this is this is a comeback fight. On paper, it looks like a very tough fight. I think short, short, uh, short term, I, I think is gonna benefit him. He's gonna be more motivated. I think in the long term, I think once he starts getting into those those championship fights, um, it never hurts to have the best trainer in the world, right? Um, he he, they split. He went his own yeah. way. Um, so I think long run, it does, it will affect him. Short term for this fight, I don't think it will. Uh, I got, I got to ask: Is there any, any chance that Canelo shows up to the city? Uh, you know, he obviously unfollowed him on 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 Instagram, on various social media platforms. Is there any way Canelo, you know, lets it lets it go and shows up? I mean, why would he? Why would why would he waste time? I think he's training for a fight. Before he would only show up because they were stablemates. So I don't I don't see why he would. Doesn't make sense. Yeah. So um, again, Ryan is is probably outside Anthony Joshua Canelo. You know, the most recognizable uh, uh, boxer. Uh, athlete uh right now currently um obviously a winning record only one defeat is there any chance we see a surprise Gio, in your opinion is there any way if you think we see a a, a a luke campbell dropping a like ryan garcia type of mini surprises here and there do you think am i also has enough power to, to unbalance ryan yeah anything can happen anything can happen it's gonna be an interesting fight um, I'm, I'm more excited about the, the triple G fight, honestly, 
Um, I think that's more of an evenly matched fight, and there's some fights on ESPN too. But this Ryan one, I, I, it, it should be an okay fight. 